Hello friends, this is Ramna. Today I will show demo on how to change the table name and column name using sp underscore rename. So sp underscore rename is the system procedure. So we can use this system procedure to change the column name and table name. So if you go to the databases and any database you want, so I am selecting sample database in programmability. So on the store procedure, so here you find one, one store procedure name called sp underscore rename. Yeah, this is the store procedure. System, SOS means system, sp store procedure underscore rename. Store procedure name is rename, sp underscore rename. So here we need to provide the uh, different types of input parameters as per the requirement. Store procedure while executing. So now by using this store procedure, so I want to rename the table name and also the column name of the table. So the table he, here I have EMP, EMP table in sample database. So if we go to select the sample database, we have one EMP table and EMP source, EMP target, EMP details. All these are different tables having with EMP name. So now I want to change this table name. I want to change this table name from EMP to EMP underscore TBL. This is my new table name. I am changing this table name by using SP underscore name. Exit SP underscore rename. So procedure name. So here I need to pass parameter first if you want to change the uh, table name so this is the syntax old table name comma within single quotes new table name this is the syntax for changing the table name into new table name. So here I am passing my old table name is EMP. EMP I am giving. So I want to change this table name as EMP underscore table. Before that you need to mention single quotes. This is the syntax. Now if I execute this one, once again make sure we don't find any EMP underscore TBL here. EMP, EMP source, EMP target, EMP details. So there are 17 records in EMP table. Now I am changing the name of the table to EMP underscore TBL. So this is the caution message. Changing any part of an object name could break the scripts and store procedures. Okay. Now if we check the table here, it is showing invalid object name because we already changed it to EMP underscore TBL. Now if you mention TBL, see here, it is appear. TBL and execute. You find the same number of rows, 17 rows, same table. So, this is how you need to change your old table name to new table name. I want to change the column name in the table. I want to change the column name in the table. So, the syntax is here old table name dot old column name. CNMS column name and here you mention new column name and finally you have to mention the object. Object here means column within single quotes. This is the syntax. So in this table if you observe ID is there. I want to change this ID as EMP underscore ID. Change the ID to EMP underscore ID. ID is the world column. EMP underscore ID is the New column. Now using the same store procedure, sp rename. So first I am taking as per the syntax, world table name. I am taking world table name as underscore tbl dot world column name. World column name is here id. I mentioned id. So next as per syntax, 
new column name. What is the new column I want to give? MP underscore ID. MP underscore ID. So next object, object I am giving here is column, just column. C for N U M. Easy syntax. So by using this short procedure, I will change the column name in any table with new column name. So I am executing this. So same caution message. Okay, once again, you check your table here. So earlier you find ID, now you can see EMP underscore ID. This is how you need to rename either your table name or your column name. These two are the syntax using system store procedure called SP underscore rename. Thanks for watching the video. Thank you very much.